everyone. We are the Dice Tower here at Gamma 2017 in Las Vegas. I'm Mandy, the board gaming pinup girl, and I am here with Daryl Andrews. We got a lot to show you. So first, we're actually going to start off with a game from Turn One Gaming Supplies, and then we're going to move on to some games with CSE. All right. That's right. So um, give me a little, I know we were talking a little bit, and you said this is their first game. Yeah, that's right. So Turn One Gaming Supplies, most people are familiar with their accessories. Right. So like card sleeves, and they have fun dice and different things like that. And they have great play mats and such. Mm -hmm. And they decided, because they were already making uh, card sleeves and play mats for Space Invaders, they inquired to do a, a dice game. Oh, fantastic. And this so. one's Space Invaders Dice. That's... Pretty straightforward. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's going into that classic ar arcade game that everyone knows. I grew up playing it. I remember as a little kid just playing for hours. Absolutely. And, uh, so I, I was very excited when they came to me and asked me to make them a dice game. And so it's a it's a roll and write game for one to four players. Oh, Suzanne will love your life. She yes. loves roll and write. I'm very excited <laughs> about Sue's game to play this. Yes. So. <laughs> she needs to see it. Okay, so walk me through it a little bit. Yeah, so absolutely. So the nice thing is right at the bottom of, this, of the, the pad that you write on, it just goes through the five steps. Mm -hmm. So the first thing you do is you roll the laser dice. Okay. Or actually, you just roll two of them. Okay. And then you add the sum value and you block that spot. Nice. And it's like that laser's being shot up there. You Pew. roll a couple more, figure out that sum value, and then the last one you just roll by itself. Right. And block that spot as well. And you do this as one player doing this? Yeah, at the time so and, you're okay. going to do this uh, for as many players, you're going to just do the same roll and it'll block everyone's uh, page okay. if, if you're playing multiplayer. If you're playing multiplayer, then you're going to roll and then draft from these dice. Uh. However, if you're playing by yourself, mm -hmm. then you get to select from them. Obviously, there's some dice that aren't going to work out to your favor. There's going to be some that have solid colors, and then also on these, there are some dual colors, so oh, you can okay. choose which thing you're, you're you shooting at. Right. You have to shoot up the different lanes, trying to eliminate the appropriate alien invaders, okay. uh, space invaders coming down, and uh, if you successfully shoot all the way through, uh, you can actually then roll the special red die okay. and score that value oh, nice. and add that to try to get your ultimate high score. Mm -hmm. However, uh, whichever dice that you can't use, um, then you're actually going to have to scratch out additional spots and as the space runs out, then your your time runs out and that's kind of uh, simulating the idea that they're coming down on they're you. They're coming down, that's exactly So you're it. running out of space and also every turn that you roll, you have to scratch out one of those red uh, alien ships. So they're disappearing quickly oh, wow. on you okay. as well. So you only have so many times. You can actually re, you can push your luck and re-roll some of the dice mm -hmm. that don't work. But then you have to scratch out double for each dice that doesn't work out for you. So Ooh, punishing. <laughs> uh, you you have to see if it's worth your while, and then uh, just make sure you do a column check at the very end as you wipe things out. Then you actually um, have to check that out to see uh, how you, you start to lose dice right. as time goes on exactly. as well. Exactly. So you want to get to it sooner rather than so later. So you want to get you want to get them as eliminated as fast as you can. If you eliminate them all, you succeed. Mm -hmm. uh, but then you can also compare your high scores against each person. Right. And uh, if you're playing multiplayer, then obviously you're competing against the table. Very fun. I like that. Suzanne's got me onto these games, so this is the only one that I have to try. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, it works great by yourself, so you can practice up before you, you play against her, and then and then see if you can beat her. Perfect. And uh, so how many players? Yeah, so one to four, actually, and it's available for pre-order right now from Turn One uh, Gaming Supplies website, and it should be available in May. Perfect. Oh my gosh, fantastic. So I know you got a couple more. Let's slide them over. Yes. So this is CSE Games. And CSE Games. Yep. So, yep. let, or let's start with one. So this one's going to go like that. This there way. we go. Right. So this game, Emblems, is a hat trick taking game. Oh, whoa, whoa. NHL, couple Canadians in the house. A couple here. Canadians, that's right. So <laughs> the thing here is, we actually have the NHL license since the 100th anniversary. Okay. And so it's celebrating the different logos mm -hmm. that are uh, used by all the teams over the course of the 100 year history. Oh, so we have neat. cards all the way back from 1917 to the very new, brand new uh, Las, Las Vegas team, mm -hmm. which we're in Las Vegas. Yeah. And 2017's new logo is even in the game. Okay. The idea here is that you play. My hometown, by the oh, way. Oh, there you Calgary. go. Calgary. <laughs> Perfect. And there's Vegas. Perfect. I had to get Vegas yes. over. So the idea here is that you have a hand of these different emblems from the NHL, mm -hmm. and you play them, but you get to call the suit. And the neat thing is you can call different things, like you could call a color. And what happens is the color is actually representing how many times that color shows up in the logo. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, neat. So, for instance, I might call the Colorado Avalanche, and there are seven different instances that Gray shows up in that logo. Oh, my goodness. So I might call Gray and play this card, and now people have to try to play a logo that, that actually has more Gray in it. Right. Or I might say the newest logo. Or I might say oh. how many Stanley Cups they've won. Right. And so there's a few different ways that you can call th call the suit and then collect the cards as you win. Oh, that's really smart. So that's uh, the NHL version that's coming out real soon. Mm -hmm. um, also, there's a couple modular expansions already built into the box. Mm -hmm. There's power play cards. Okay. And overtime cards. Okay. So don't do that. Oh, yep. Yep. There we go. And so the power play cards, the way they work is that you can actually score some extra points along the way. So normally you just score a point for every card that you collect. Okay. But along the way you might have, for instance, even though I might call red to follow suit, this card might be showing that says most Stanley Cups. Mm. And as a consolation prize, someone might then win two points for just have right. playing the most Stanley Cup card. Okay. And is that related to the amount that's on the bottom? And so each one is worth two points, so okay. we kind of emulate a little scoreboard there okay. that you scored a couple more goals or a couple more points. Oh, very fun. So those are our power play cards that you can introduce uh, once you're familiar with the game. Right. And then we also have overtime cards, and they're end scoring. Okay. So if you want to, for instance, collect logos that have orange in them, or so different colors or different things like uh, we have one that's about animals. So mm -hmm. if you collect all the ones that have animals in the right. logos or acts of fury or nature. Uh, so different things like that are just built right into the cards. And then you can, if you want to have some long-term strategy of trying to collect the tricks mm -hmm. that have certain certain uh, attributes, right. you can use the overtime. Oh, that's cards nice. Well. But you can play without. You can play without right. those. You can introduce then, them after you've played around and you want to add some complexity or then, keep it simple right. and just play with the, the different emblems. Okay, so quickly before we move on to the next one, um, age, how many people can play? Yeah, I've played this with as young as six-year-olds. Oh, okay. And it's a real simple thing to just say, like follow the colors and the numbers. Okay. Um, and we play up to five players. Perfect. All right. So... To end off, what's the last game that you have? Yes, last one's actually hot off the press. This is my first time even seeing it, mm -hmm. and that is uh, Fantasy Fantasy Football. Okay, we can do that. Can take a look. <gasps> I love football. And so uh, this is the second in the series. Uh, for the first one with JR Honeycutt and I, where we designed uh, Fantasy Fantasy Baseball. Mm -hmm. And so this one's actually coming out on Indiegogo at the end of this month. Okay. And uh, we have... Uh, the same artists involve Rob Lundy, so we have some of the art here. This is actually a pre-release for reviewers okay. to try to see, but some of the art on these cards, some are just silhouettes. Right, so they haven't come uh, But yet. here's a few of the characters oh, that are coming out that are fancy creatures. Um, and the new twist here is that... Um, you still program your players mm -hmm. for the different weeks, however you play head to head. So the neat twist is, if I'm playing against you, right. we can be. match up our oh, boards right. and all of a sudden now we compete and compare our fantasy creatures each week and see oh, if right. we can collect the most wins, which we have little football tokens. Okay, so very thematic. <laughs> little, little football tokens. Oh. <laughs> so you're trying to win the most football tokens to win the game. And uh, also, um, the way the game works is everyone has six cards in their hand, or six cards they program for, they have two left in their hand, and they can use their magic abilities to cause a little chaos along okay. the way. So, and then the other twist uh, with football is we've introduced weather. Mm -hmm. So depending on the on the weather, it might affect some of the stats or some of the positions of the players. Yes. So. Which I can attest to because I used to play football. <laughs> so that, that can really change things. So that's a, that's, uh, that's a general idea of how that's the game That's a general is quick version of the game. Perfect. Oh, thanks so much for showing that. So uh, when is this uh, available? Here's yeah, so this is actually going to be on Indiegogo at the end of March. End of March. We looked at that and this is fantasy... Fantasy, fantasy football. I forgot that double fantasy. <laughs> Perfect. So thanks so much for sharing. If you have questions for Q&A, I'm sure people will have lots about this one. Okay. Send them over. And thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. All right. Bye, guys. Bye.